Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Phil Anaya. Today's the big day as San Antonians have been going to the polls to cast their vote for mayor as well as a few city council seats. Now this is a runoff election for incumbent Ron Nuremberg and challenger Councilman Greg Brockhouse. Council seats for districts 2, 4 and 6 also went to a runoff and will be decided today. Now we have team coverage with Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos covering Ron Nuremberg at the friendly spot in Southtown and Roxy Bustamante is live at the Greg Brockhouse watch party at Viola's Ventana on the northwest side and today Mayor Ron Nuremberg has been making last minute stops for votes. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos joins us live from the mayor's watch party and Henry I understand the mayor started his day right here at Kent's five. So what did he have to say? He certainly did feel the mayor said several things, including that he is happy the way he has ran this campaign. The incumbent also said that his turnout is very strong. As you mentioned, we are at the friendly spot where the watch party will begin at 7 o'clock when the polls close. Now, Mayor Nuremberg told Kent's five the top issue he is hearing from people here in San Antonio are the challenges that come with our city growth. Now, San Antonio tops the list as one of the fastest growing cities in the country. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, from 2016 to 2017, an average of 66 people were moving to the city per day. Now, we're expected to reach another million people by 2040. One of the leading issues is housing affordability. How do we keep our property taxes under control? How do we make sure that the growth that's occurring in people's on the outskirts of their neighborhoods is quality development? Now, I've been monitoring the mayor's social media accounts all day. Phil, as you mentioned, he's been stopping at different polling sites. And, of course, he says that even though his turnout is strong, his team cannot take a vote for granted. Now, joining me right now is our colleague Roxy Bustamante, who is at the Councilman Greg Brockhouse's watch party at Viola's Ventanas on the northwest side. Roxy, what does it look like there? Well, they're actually clearing some of the tables here because they're expecting about 400 people here at the official watch party. Now it's just about two hours before Councilman Greg Brockhouse will actually be here. He is also making his final rounds at the polls before people cast their ballots and before those polls close at seven tonight. But his official watch party was also held here the last go around and they had this entire back patio filled with people. They're expecting, like I said, 400 here tonight, which is a lot more than the last time. Now, it's been a tight race between incumbent Ron Nuremberg and Councilman Greg Brockhouse. The two controversial issues that really spun this election into chaos were the allegations of domestic abuse, which Brockhouse and his wife have both denied, and the Chick-fil-A controversy. But a voter tells me he backs Brockhouse and believes San Antonio is ready for a change. I like Mr. Brockhouse's get out there and do it and even if you step on some toes do it i'm glad he's doing things for me i'd rather have him on my side doing things for me and his brusque manner if you want to say but uh he's doing stuff for me now more than 81,000 people cast their ballots early which is about more than 20 percent from the first go around and of course around seven greg brockhouse will be here and will be live on facebook and of course bring you the latest coverage right here on air and online phil all right roxy thank you so much